them. Out. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Fish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers! 
rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. What's that big thing? Eh? Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Are you sure you won't tell us more about that big thing over there? It's nothing! Forget about it! Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. Orchid squid of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh boy! 
Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. What can I do for you kids? One peppermint soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. Soda on the house. you about that note. Creepy! Do you think that could be the rusty rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is. in the combination. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Farnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. 
If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Hmm, a blue 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be wrestlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for wrestlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the wrestler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. just the current. I guess. So all you sell here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. Tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! I just need a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and whatever letter you want on the front. I guess whoever was working here is done now. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Oh boy, a real 10-gallon hat! Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Bye. 
Used to be sheriff shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim, professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's Sahara Slim's special super stew, my own recipe. Quite ready. It says free wood. Hey Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. This should be useful. How did you do that? That's my special secret. <laughs> Keeping the water from coming down here. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We 
can't get in there. The water level is too low. Handle belongs somewhere. Here, let me help. We did it, Luther. Why is the room spinning? It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. This could come in handy. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> well, hi, kids. Hello. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. 
go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. <coughs> the wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hey you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way though. Is this your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. Hi, Elmer! <laughs> Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. <laughs> Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. didn't last him very long. Here, 
Can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect! Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins. So I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another <coughs> wheel nut. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is too Purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we could borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. some pepper. Gee, I 
hope he's okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. Okay. A harmonica! <laughs> Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Hey. E, I wonder what we could use to get those screws out. to look like wrestlers. Hmm. A blue 10 gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with a K on it. And a bow tie. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. I really only need one letter. Careful there, don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer, spoofs him something awful. What's he got against glue? box door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. I've gone to a lot of 
trouble and expense to hire these sheep men to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please just go to sleep. Please. take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. I like this gold starfish. Let's take it instead of the other one. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found, Sheriff Shrimp. He's back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there! That's a loading zone! Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Toby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Yeah.
Can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back! Me Nelson. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves, too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Wow! That's kind of scary! I'd almost believe you were a rustler! Good! That's what we want! There! Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow rustler. Ahem. Howdy! I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori! He's having a terrible time with the hogfish! Well, go on in! He'll be glad to see you! Thank you! Rustlers, what are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. 
You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. <laughs> these are heavy. There, that does it. The missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. This little piggy. Hmm. Yeah, one of the rustlers was singing it to us over and over. I think he was trying to get us to go to sleep. I see. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Maybe I could use this chain to yank those bars out. something like a creaking noise I think it came from out there <laughs> those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy. Fire away. What? No! Come back! Please come back! 
We're going home. The food's terrible here. So oh, what do we do now, Mori? <laughs> I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Phil, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the wrestlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... And when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. Fat lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're... You're... I'm Mr. Big. Yes. <laughs> I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children. And I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats? Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. Show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Get a line, I get a pole, we all go down the crowd at hole, darling. Sugar pop pop, sugar pop pop pop. Oh, Stuball was a racehorse, wish she was mine.
Stewball was a racehorse with she was mine. Oh, Stewball was a racehorse, wish she was mine. 